Hi and welcome. The video you're about to see will showcase the key highlights of what's occurred in the Sky City properties in the financial year 2016. It's been a fantastic year and I hope this video gives you a good idea of what we're focusing on and what our future plans are. The 2016 financial year has been another positive one for Sky City Entertainment Group. By building on the momentum of the last 24 months, we've achieved record results. Each of our properties across New Zealand and Australia are unique businesses that contribute to the story of our success. This year, Sky City Auckland celebrated its 20-year anniversary. For a second year running, it has delivered record results. It's been an exciting period that's seen some dramatic changes across the property. The last 12 months at Sky City Auckland, the capital development that we've undertaken has been very extensive. Uh, it's probably the most uh, most we've done in some time. And it was time to move us to the next level. A $20 million refurbishment has seen the all-important atrium area totally transformed. That atrium is the heartbeat of our property. It's where we get most of the people through the door. Wear and tear, 20 years old, and, and not a lot had changed. A new and improved entranceway, marble walls and tiled floor has created a bright and welcoming space. It's really made it more intuitive for our customers who come across the road from our Federal Street restaurants so that they can see, you know, what we have to offer. A new escalator now links the revamped atrium to the main gaming floor, which has also undergone a makeover. New carpet, gaming tables and even staff uniforms have made a dramatic difference to the environment. What we've tried to do is just to give the place a real uplift in quality and finish. The comments from our customers has been overwhelmingly positive. Wow, uh, this has been a long time coming. It looks fantastic. We're so excited to see this change. Another addition to the revamped atrium area is the hugely popular Andy's Burgers and & Bar, which cleverly taps into the current craze for gourmet burgers. It's a great casual offering that marries nicely with our gaming offering as well. Fun, affordable. It's also for younger clientele who can come, watch the game, but also all walks of life can go through there and feel very comfortable. And if you've been to Andy's and, and tried the burgers, I think you'll agree they're, they're the best in town. The award-winning Federal Street Dining Precinct continues its roaring success. Its reputation confirmed with six hats in the Cuisine Awards and all its restaurants making it into Metro Magazine's top 50 restaurant list. We couldn't be happier with how those restaurants are performing. Of course, you can't sit still and so we're looking to invest further in our Federal Street offering. Sky City is now beginning construction of a signature Cantonese restaurant set to open in Federal Street next year. With the opening of the Grand Horizon Gaming Salons, international VIPs can enjoy their own exclusive environment in opulent surroundings. We are becoming a business over the course of the last 24 months, especially as a destination that these players will consider. So we have to make sure that we're ahead of the trends. We have to make sure that what we're providing is in keeping with what they expect. There are billion dollar properties around the world that have great attractions, but we can provide New Zealand, which is unique, and we can provide a, an experience that's uh, as good, if not better, than they get in those casinos. Meanwhile, one of Sky City's largest development projects to date, the New Zealand International Convention Centre, is now well underway. The $700 million project will boost tourism, employment and economic growth, both locally and nationally. Construction contracts were signed with Fletcher Construction in November last year, 
And in February, Sky City marked the turning of the first sod on the project at a ceremony with Prime Minister John Key. I mean, this is going to be the place where, you know, literally over time, millions of people from around the world will come, going to conventions, seeing the very best of New Zealand, enjoying what a great city Auckland is and what a great show Sky City can put on. With demolition now complete, excavation is underway with special consideration to the retention of the heritage facade. The project is on budget with a scheduled completion date of the first quarter of 2019. When complete, the NZICC will be five times larger than the largest existing convention facility in New Zealand and will include an exhibition hall that will be similar in size to Eden Park. Capable of hosting more than 3,000 delegates who will be able to choose between soaring gallery spaces, modern function areas, or the beautiful new theatre venue. And the five-star 300-room Hobson Street Hotel will be linked seamlessly via an air bridge. The NZICC project is a world-class development that will transform inner-city Auckland and allow New Zealand to compete on the world stage. Sky City Hamilton has been a strong performer in the 2016 financial year, with improved results driven in part by growth in gaming revenue. A major new addition has been the opening of the City Co-op development. It's a relaxed dining and bar hub cleverly fitted into the site's historical atrium area. With five different outlets, the Co-op is proving to be a winning formula for the business. And what City Co-op's done is it's really brought Sky City Hamilton to life. It's attracted a whole lot more people to the business um, and it's certainly contributed to the growth that we've had in, in FY16. The local tap house has found a niche specialising in craft beer with a distinct local flavour. We're partnering with Good George Brewing, which is a local Hamilton business who produces fantastic range of beer. It's something we're really proud of to support local producers. Next door, Eat Burger offers up delicious gourmet burgers and milkshakes for the whole family. Eat Burger is about offering something that's a bit more edgy, bringing us into the modern era. The great thing about City Co-op is you can have an Eat Burger, you can grab a beer at the local tap house, you can have some Spanish food. There's something for everyone, which is really exciting. And for customers looking for something a little more exclusive, the Marble Room serves up a little luxury with a perfectly mixed cocktail. Boulevard has been a unique and successful part of the business for some time. As the only 10-pin bowling alley in the city, it attracts customers that may otherwise not visit. Given its popularity, it's now undergoing a dramatic renovation and rebranding. Boulevard is actually going to be Boulevard no more because we're rebranding it as Bowl and Social. Reopening at the beginning of December, with um, brand new everything basically, the latest bowling technology, fantastic pizzas, um, beautiful private bar and private lane area. A large scale council redevelopment in the CBD is also positive news for Sky City Hamilton. Victoria on the River will transform the riverbank area into beautiful new public spaces right on Sky City's doorstep. Any investment in the central city of Hamilton is actually great for us because it's going to give people more reasons to visit, especially if we offer great facilities like Bowl and Social, like City Co-op and our fantastic casino, then we're going to see our business continue to grow. And Hamilton's favourable economic conditions means good news for future growth. Hamilton does feel really positive at the moment. There's fantastic projections of growth here in Hamilton and we're in a perfect position here at Sky City Hamilton to make the most of it. Located in one of New Zealand's prime tourist destinations, Sky City Queenstown delivered record results for the 2016 financial year. A key factor is the growing number of visitors flocking to the area to experience everything this iconic region has to offer. 
The Sky City Queenstown, it's been fantastic. It's been amazing. We, we've had a record-breaking year, and uh, largely that can be put down to the fact that there's been a, an increase in tourism throughout the year. The recent increase of flights into the region is also having a positive flow-on effect. Well, the night flights have increased capacity of people coming into the town. Uh, that's been from a domestic market and also an international market, mainly Australia. And the more people we get in town, the better it is for business. Sky City Queenstown's unique offering is also proving a real drawcard for international business. International business customers who come to Queenstown, they're well, they're blown away. They have a choice, they have a variety of either going and playing some of the best world-class golf courses. We also have some of the best vineyards with the best Pinot Noirs. Alternatively, if they want to go outside their comfort zone somewhat, uh, we have adventure tourism. And then you can finish it off with a fantastic meal in the evening and uh, some of the best views. With only around 20,000 full-time residents, Queenstown's a tight-knit community. Forming genuine relationships with local businesses is key for the team. It's a small town. It's very important for us to be connected and to be engaged with the local Queenstown community. Key events and key organisations, including recently the national champion Stampede Ice Hockey Team, uh, events such as Winterfest and uh, also some charitable work. With tourism numbers showing no sign of slowing down, Sky City Queenstown is perfectly placed to continue its success. We have a point of difference that we can offer uh, from a Sky City perspective that no other casino in the world can. We need the tourism to involve as well and we're seeing signs of that. And uh, we just need that to continue. Adelaide Casino delivered an improved performance this financial year due to a number of factors. The new VIP Black Room, which offers predominantly electronic gaming in a premium lounge environment, has been extremely well received by local and interstate VIP customers. And two new salons for VIP international customers are set to open shortly. International business has been very popular in Adelaide and very successful in the past 12 months. We've got a great service culture. A lot of customers are coming back to us time and again because of the great experience they're having with us. Meanwhile, the winning formula of partnering up with celebrity chefs done so successfully in Auckland is also proving to be a great play for the Adelaide business. Madame Hanoi, a French Vietnamese bistro created with renowned chef Nick Watt from Federal Street's Masu, offers a distinct dining experience set in a striking decor. Another Federal Street celebrity chef, Sean Connolly, is the creative force behind Sean's Kitchen, a New York-style brasserie with a menu that taps into the very best of South Australian produce. Sean's Kitchen has just been voted best established restaurant in the Adelaide City Awards. Man of Hanoi and Sean's Kitchen are two of the most prominent restaurants in South Australia. They've repositioned our property into markets that we weren't previously exposed to on a large scale. We continue to win award after award with those two restaurants. Some of them are actually awards that have been voted on by the people of Adelaide, and that's very satisfying and very reassuring to us that we're heading in the right direction. When it comes to future development of the Adelaide Casino, Sky City has a vision to transform the business into an integrated, world-class entertainment complex. With an investment of around $300 million, Expansion plans include a new six-star hotel, premium gaming spaces and additional signature restaurants. The expanded Adelaide Casino is estimated to be complete in 2020 and will be the cornerstone of a wider Riverbank precinct development. Well, Adelaide Casino is quite an institution in Adelaide. We're in a great location, we're right in the heart of the city. We've got the biggest railway station in Adelaide right underneath the building. And we're also located very well in adjacency to the Adelaide Oval. Adelaide Oval is one of the most popular sports and entertainment venues in Australia and draws crowds of thousands to the area during events. The wider Riverbank precinct will also encompass festival theatres as well as the city's convention centre and a revamped plaza area. Well, it's certainly an exciting thing for us, the precinct and the broader city of Adelaide.
the Darwin property's prime position close to Asia offers up huge potential for growth. The beauty of Darwin is, fly four hours north, you could be in the capital city of one of six Asian countries with a total population of over 300 million people. And that's 10 times the size of Australia and New Zealand. Tourism is going to be vital to the Northern Territory and its future growth. And that's where Sky City Darwin has a significant role to play. The stunning five-star Sky City Darwin Lagoon Resort is the only one of its kind in Darwin, offering guests a unique experience. With its picture postcard beach setting, it offers up an expansive lagoon pool that wraps around 32 luxury guest rooms, all right next door to the boutique casino. Sky City Darwin is also primed for hub and spoke tourism, so with a lot of Asians in particular, they can come to Darwin, uh, stay at the Sky City Darwin Resort, and then during the day, take tours, come back at night, uh, have luxury dining, relaxing, entertainment, everything for them. The resort's superb international business offering is also proving to be a real drawcard. With four super villas and private salons, the resort offers the ultimate in luxury and seclusion. International players must come here, they can enjoy what the territory has to offer while staying and playing in magnificent villas and salons. And where else can you actually be an international player paying baccarat, take two steps and you're in your own lagoon pool? Sky City Darwin also has its own award-winning fine dining restaurant, Evu. This year, it was the only restaurant in the Northern Territory to be presented with a highly sought after age good food guide chef hat. It is a restaurant where we offer degustation as well as fine dining. It's easily one of Darwin's top three restaurants and is continually recognised as that. With an application in to extend its casino licence for a further five years through to 2036, the long-term outlook for Sky City Darwin is promising. Tourism is going to be vital to the Northern Territory and its future growth. Given our position at the top of Australia, we'll play a pivotal role in an exciting future. I hope you enjoyed the video and get an understanding of what we've been focusing on this year and get a clear understanding of what our future plans are. You've seen just a few of our very talented leaders across the business and you've seen how diverse our properties are. It makes me very proud to be part of Sky City and I hope you share my pride with the understanding that there's over 6,000 capable and talented staff working across the business. Thank you for all your support and here's to a great 2017.